In this screencast, I'm going to compare the shortcut Van Toff method for determining chemical equilibrium mole fractions to the more accurate one where the heat of reaction depends on temperature. I'm going to use the spreadsheet that's described in another screencast to make this comparison. So let's look at this spreadsheet. I won't describe the details of the spreadsheet for calculating at 800 Kelvin 30 bar equilibrium mole fractions. And then we can compare the equilibrium mole fraction ratios to the equilibrium constant determined from delta G. And this is where the heat reaction depends on temperature. And so I've already run solver for this condition. So let's compare to the case where the heat reaction is a constant. In this case, we're using the heat reaction at our reference temperature, 298 Kelvin. So again, we're going to use 800. And let's pick values that are at least close for ammonia, since we've seen that that can be more sensitive in solver with the constant delta H. Found a solution, but notice the difference. Mole fraction 0.37 for ammonia versus 0.18, about a factor of two. And the equilibrium constant 0 0.0066 versus 0.00298. So a factor of two difference in the equilibrium constant if we assume delta H is constant. So we're using delta H at 298, but we're calculating the equilibrium at 800 Kelvin. Now, we certainly could be more accurate if we just used this spreadsheet with constant delta H, but used a value that, say, is the average of the heat reaction over the temperature range. So here, in this first spreadsheet, we've calculated heat reaction as a function of temperature. And notice exothermic reaction, so it's negative. Notice that the value becomes more negative as we raise the temperature. So 53.7 is significantly different from 46. So not surprising that the equilibrium constant are different there for equilibrium composition. Now, the same type calculation for other reactions might be more accurate. Depends on the heat capacities and how much the heat reaction changes with temperature. And if we do the calculation, for example, if we did the same calculation at 500 Kelvin, we'd be much closer between the two approaches.